everyone. Today I'm going to talk about PMS and OCD. How to deal with PMS when you have OCD and whether it's your PMS making your OCD worse or your OCD making your PMS worse. But before I go any further, please subscribe, hit the like button and leave us a comment. So when you have PMS, um, you can be doing really, really well and uh, suddenly you feel like you're back to square one. You feel like you are uh, never learned anything. You feel like you're very depressed. You feel very anxious um, uh, more than usual. When you have PMS, you feel like you're never going to get out of it. It feels really real. Um, it feels really convincing. Like OCD in general will make it feel as real as it can get um, but with pms it can feel extra more than that um, when i used to experience bad pms when i was suffering from ocd i would be doing well with recovery and i just out of the blue feel really down i wake up crying for no reason really really sad and my, my main theme was our ocd so i would have urges to break up with my partner i would have strong uh, intrusive thoughts and intrusive feelings it felt like you know i i figured it out it's like oh that this is this is the missing key that's what i want that's what causing my um anxiety that's what causing my uh OCD. If I if I act on that particular thing I'm feeling, or act on that particular thought, then everything will be okay. So you you will notice that you get these urges more than usual. You get these intrusive feelings and thoughts. You feel depressed. You like you're never gonna get out of it. You're back to square one. What's the point? Is recovery even working? You're gonna doubt your recovery. You doubt your uh, your progress. Everything. So it's really important to keep that in mind and also something to remember uh it, it, to not fall into the idea that and because you get that particular thought of feeling every month regularly makes it real and makes it different um try not to fall for that because ocd will lie it's it's a doubt disorder so you can't really just um, uh fall for that idea and i really want you to sit with the discomfort sit with the uncomfortable feelings I know it is very difficult and it's really really hard but with the practice it will get better so in order for you to get better dealing with pms and having ocd the best way for me was noticing that time of the month so okay during that time of the month i will feel different i will feel uh, very sad very depressed and very anxious um, and i i kept in mind what kind of feelings and intrusive thoughts that i would get usually around my main theme and then expect that so expecting it every month to happen it makes a huge difference because when we expect something to happen we're not as shocked and we don't react to it as as strongly as we usually do and i told i i told myself okay this time of the month i'm gonna feel really sad really are depressed and um, it's really important that I don't react on those feelings or these thoughts and it's something we can't change right so we cannot do anything about it so why don't we just take a positive perspective on it so for example I, I really taught myself to think that okay it's going to be an exposure for me is going to it's going to be a monthly exposure um, and it's an exposure to check how well i do mentally how well i do with my uh, ocd recovery and so not everyone gets to gets that reminder every month so uh I so i think to change how i react to it it changing my belief was really important about it because changing my belief allowed me to change how i react to it again like it's something we can't really change so it's better if we take a positive uh, perspective on it so our reaction change to it a lot of people a lot of women that i know 
tend to really um, have a big setback around PMS. Even when they don't have OCD, they just feel very mentally um, uh, mentally worn out. And it, PMS, it's it's hard. You know, it's really important that we notice it, expect it. Um, even if we don't have OCD, um, I, I like I still have my period monthly, so I know during that time, even if I'm recovered, I know I will feel different. I will feel extra emotional, extra negative, um, and I adjust my environment accordingly to it. And it's I, I taught myself not to act on those feelings or those thoughts and just have a sort of like pause. So yeah, um, if you're watching this video, please do try to work on making your PMS experience better by starting noticing it when it happens and expect it. Um, not in a compulsive way just because you don't want to experience those feelings or those thoughts, but try to, to balance it out so you're not experience it in a shocked way. And um, slowly you will see a difference. You will see that your experience is changing and your and that will help your recovery in general it's it's very important because you will notice that it's not a bad setback and it's you're not back to square one and you keep going rather than just having that time of the month where you feel extremely extremely bad and that tends to last really long and we don't want that to happen um so yeah just start working on that start working on your beliefs and um and change your reaction to it and and usually when you when you work on your beliefs and your fears your reaction will change to how you experience your pms so i hope this video helps and if you have any questions or any thoughts please leave them in the comments thank you